Get ready for the next battle. That King J is going to get nightmare, but I don't know if they're going to be able to get it. Split Earth is there, and the follow-up for himself, but how is actually holding his own much better than I thought he would. Bushi's just not able to effectively train, and actually getting quite low. This is the... Oh, no, he Oh, me. no, tree coming from the top. And Chakram down, here they come. There's the open wounds, Moo pops the ulti, Dragon Tail, this is gonna be another death for sure. No, nice nightmare, delays it a little bit there. In. Oh no, he is gonna be able to make it away! Mushi finally though, cleaned up, Shackle is gonna latch, not gonna be any. Keeping an eye on things. The other one taking up front, they'll be cleaned up by a power shot. Another TP's gonna come in, they might want to reinitiate. Yep, there it is, we're gonna have a Dragon Tail onto it. Now it's another TP coming in. The Telekinese on Alchemist brings him back. Unstable Concoction is tossed, and they're going to be able to clean up San Xing at the very least. And Rubik is halfway to level 6, so he is severely underleveled, but King J with a triple coil. There's a coil, and the follow-up. They're going to be able to Nightmare Net. Nope, never mind. Brief Fire gets the damage done. Mushi forced to fall back. Shackle doesn't latch. Edict is doing damage, so he will think twice about being kited. And there's the Unstable Concoction. That's going to catch one. Now the Chakram goes out. Open Wounds is out there as well. Hal trying to clean things up. That's two heroes very low. Trying to make a retreat for the tier two bottom. Bane's gonna TP back in. Your Bane is level three, and you don't have a single tier one tower on the map anymore, and how does doesn't care, he's going in. Engage again, Chakram's gonna go out to try and cut him off. Another good nightmare keeps him alive, same as before. Brief fire cleans him up out of the nightmare. Mushi caught by the dragon tail and cleaned up afterwards. Hand of God. By themselves. Talk who has sentries littered in the jungle of orange right now, and they're just gonna find Mushi. Open wounds, there's the timber chain trying to get him out of trouble. Silence is there. And caught out with the telekinesis. There's going to be an unstable concoction tossed out. Now the coil catches a couple. They're going to re-engage. Shackle shots there. Does latch. Buys them some time. The net, though, locked down X. He's going to be a killing spree death going for how. When you say, oh, if they die, they could lose the tier two. Not a tier two. The one still remaining. Mushi caught off in mid. Orange is on the ropes. And if they ever, if they want to have any chance, they have to play mistake-free Dota and hope that Tongfu makes a lot of mistakes. This could help. They hit a shackle. Doesn't latch. Banana. Dodges the Chakram, now the reinitiation, Coil catches two, just looking to melt already. Once down, make it two down, soon to be three. Nightmare can't delay a fade bolt. And Unstable Concoction's gonna land on Moo, but they don't really have any follow-up. I just want to point out, oh, never mind, here comes the battle. And Hand of a God gets them back up and fighting, they pursue out the Alchemist, Nightmare interrupts that. Nope, now caught with the Telekinesis, the rest of them forced to run for the well, Infest gets him back up and in fighting shape. And to the south, they catch out Mushi one more time. Shackle will not latch. Moo rushes ahead under cover of the Shadow Blade. 60 seconds until the Aegis is reclaimed. For now, the Rax are just being shipped away. And they're going to have to come back out on this soon. Managed to didn't see what he got. They have to hang on. There's the re-engagement as King J jumps in with a passenger. Mushi next on the list. And the rest of the fight, all but a foregone conclusion. Timbersaw did buy back. But in the end, the Rax do drop. And along with it, what little hope of comeback. KYXY now re-engaged upon this to shackle the Will Latch, and they are going to be able to get off a kill. Triple kill for Hal. Hal caught in the chakra, has this Asia's popped, could not have been more than 10 seconds before it was going to be reclaimed. Ohio next on the list, he comes back up fighting, open wounds on to Mushi. Familiar feeling for Mushi. Going to try to get away, nightmares there, doesn't matter. Chakram's all over the place as San Sheng has stolen it, and they are now in well farming mode, GG. I would imagine into open wounds to be able to reliably land it, but once that happens, it's really, really scary. It looks like we will end up seeing a dark suit mid here against Mushi's Alchemist. And up at top, KYXY in some trouble, open wounds to follow it up. Do something to shut this down. And speaking of shut down, they want to shut down this Alchemist. There's a disruption. King Jay's there. Wall down preemptively and well timed on the Split Earth. The damage dealing abilities available to her if and when she wants to fight. But Moose sitting there as well. And here we go. Silence. Well timed. Coil just in case. Queen of Pain. The third one to drop. That's three kills all in favor of Tom Fu. Now they're finally going to get on the board in mid as King J is tracked down. So Hal with his face boots up already. And he's got a bracer towards his drums if he wants to take him. And he's just going to dive the tower. Has the creep wave. There's the open wounds. Realizes there's no help to be found. KYXY trying to give him the old okey doke Not going to work. 
has the infest. Enough to clean it up. Net's going to come give a big F you in the form of a magic missile. Splitter is going to be on the mark. Damage being done of Tongfu. And I hear an unstable concoction. There it is. There's a disruption. And Hal's going to rage, so he can't do anything. It stuns himself. And Mushi. would have been dead either way, even if he didn't infest on the creep, but it was still pretty funny to see Snick send it back to uh, the wrong side of the map, and can't wait XY unfortunately going to get caught out here, not much, he's not going to have chemical rage for when he gets back up, it's very, not quite to the same extreme, but it's similar, and how, uh, going to be chasing him down. There's Moo, throws the coil, Mushi already at half health, going to snap it to try and get away, but too much follow up, that's a free Aegis gone, they're going to get him twice. No way Orange can really hope to engage into this open wounds more than nothing. Just look at him melt, shooting laser beams at people. And that, we're going to see it. They're in coil, caught to follow it up. And, yep, that's a dead tinker. He is going to be netted down, but he jumps away. Net next on the list, being chopped away by Hal. Wall goes down, and Sonic Wave does it a decent amount of damage. The fight. They already have a back on King J. He's got 2,200 gold. Probably going to be getting a hex, but they're going to catch Banana here. And Sunshine try is going to be caught out. There's the mech to get him back up. Banana actually survived through the initial burst of damage. Now the wall's going to go down. Vacuum 2 into them. There's the slow on Mushi. Split Earth off the mark. Re-engagement. Coil caught 2. They're going to see him snap. Mu trying to go crazy. We'll be able to nuke down the Venge. Now Ohio in some trouble. Blinks away just in time. Here for Orange. And I really want to see what the Slice Scaler is actually going to buy. He's got 4,200 gold right now. He's just apparently just making <laughs> Fun. Nope. That's just what he wants he to just do. decides, you know, I'm gonna go get a kill. Hal having a little fun. He almost got that kill. Was hiding inside of a creep. Unstable concoction, though, with the follow-up from Ohio. Playing Bushi. Might be going down here. And move. Oh, nice disruption. Buys him some time. Sanshing making a run for it. He does get a kill as well. Face shifted out. They're gonna smoke and head out and go looking for a target. A very likely one could be Moo. And here they come. Jumping on him immediately. 50 seconds without him on the board. And that might be enough to keep this game going. Net spotted out. Will be vacuumed back and cleaned up. Firm grasp on this game. They're kind of surrounding Hal on the bottom lane, though. I just don't know if they can actually get him. Wow. Beautifully timed rage. Avoided everything. The counter initiation is there. He's chopping away on Mushi. What a coil! Infest comes back out. See Net eating the Dagon. He'll probably be cleaned up momentarily. And chasing to dodge that concoction and dodge that scream of pain, and he did it. Now they're just going to dive back, trying to grab him up, heard the open wounds. In the meantime, bouncing around, we're going to see the march of the machines. Not enough to force Hal back. He's got his blade nail up, and he is going to be caught out this time, and the sonic wave is there as well. Wall goes down, what a vacuum, got to, and the coil to follow it. Mushi and Net both caught out and punished. That's a double kill for Moo, and they're not done. Still clean and shop, and there's the GG. Finally.